just use Linux slash GNU? There's yet another question mark this time. Okay, so I get a lot of comments on my channel, as you can tell from its size, and many of those comments are, make a video about Linux, just use Linux, why don't you use Linux? I thought you used Linux. You do get the occasional weird ones, like this one for example, but back to the focus of this video. For anyone who's asking, I dual boot Windows 10 and Ubuntu 19.10 on my computer. I primarily use Windows 10 for all my video editing and channel stuff, and I'm using Ubuntu because at some point I plan on switching from Windows to a Linux distribution. But before I explain the question mark and everything else, first I have to actually explain what Linux slash GNU is. In the simplest way possible, GNU is a project to get more free and open source software out there, and Linux is part of that project. So what is Linux? Linux is a kernel, like the Windows NT kernel, basically a layer of software that enables hardware to be compatible with the actual operating operating system. The term Linux is used commonly to describe pretty much any operating system that uses the Linux kernel. Ubuntu, Debian, Manjaro, OpenSUSE, these are operating systems that I can install into a computer and they're commonly called distros. The real point of the Linux kernel in all these distros is freedom and openness. I can download the source code of the Linux kernel and I can modify it however I please and redistribute it with no limitations. Through this concept of open source and freedom, people have the ability to collaborate together and make better and more reliable software. Another advantage of using Linux distros is that many of them, including the most popular one, Ubuntu, are free. And in this case, I'm talking about free as in you don't have to pay anything for them. Many of the most popular Linux distros are free to download, but not all of them. For example, Red Hat costs money. Okay, so when you have a Linux distro up and running on a PC, now you actually have to get software for it. And luckily, like the operating system, loads of software for Linux is free. In the you don't have to pay anything for it since. So, what's not to love with Linux? Why don't we just all hop over to distros instead of using Windows and Mac OS? Well, the main reason is software and hardware support. Pretty much all the professional creative companies like Adobe and Autodesk have absolutely no interest in Linux. Also, many desktop computers and laptops are built with Windows in mind, so Linux can have some problems on these. However, in a weird way, this has had a good impact on the open source community. New free software like Gimp, Blender, and Audacity were created to combat the lack of support from companies like Adobe and Autodesk. In some cases, the new free software becomes more popular and more used than the previous non-free software. Like for example, Audacity. Everyone uses Audacity. Not only that, but if you really need a Windows program running on Linux, you can always configure something like Wine. Wine is a compatibility layer, and it works pretty well to allow you to run Windows programs on Linux machines. However, Wine is not perfect, and it definitely doesn't offer the same performance performance and stability as a real Windows system would. And that's why there's a question mark at the end of the title of this video. It really depends. The real thing with Linux is that most supported stuff works really, really well, and anything that's not supported takes a little while to get working. And that's why I can't recommend a Linux distro as a complete replacement for Windows, unless you're using something like Windows 10 S. Basically, if you plan to use your computer for email, web browsing, maybe some image editing, and maybe some 3D modeling in Blender, then just use Linux. However, if your primary objective with the computer is to use industry standard software like Premiere Pro and Autodesk Maya, then you're better running it on Windows, because the compatibility layer on Linux is probably not going to give you the best performance. And at this point, you might as well just have a Windows machine. There's just this gap in the middle with Linux. Either you're a very simple user that doesn't need to do many complex things to their computer, or you're a very advanced user that knows how to make complex things work on your computer. However, do not fret because I think that this gap is slowly being filled. Just last year, gaming on Linux got much more bigger because Windows games became easily supported on Steam. Thanks to a modified version of Wine called Proton, Steam is now able to play many Windows games on Linux computers. This is one of the huge steps forward to getting more people to use open source operating systems. And, at least in my opinion, open source and software freedom is the future. However, the sheer convenience and things you can do with Windows Windows is just too much to pass up. If I decided that in this moment I wanted to switch to Linux, I'd have to learn an entire new editor, spend loads of time trying to get my games to work, and you probably wouldn't see a new video from me in at least two months. So yeah, while Linux slash GNU has gone really far, if it goes just a little bit more far, then maybe it will be a complete replacement for professional Windows users. Just use Linux slash GNU.
this video is surprisingly not sponsored by macOS. At least both Linux and Windows users can agree that macOS is stupid. 